da, 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 da. Okay. Hello, and welcome to the No One Ask You podcast. I don't have the script pulled up. Give me a moment. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know the file. <laughs> For this particular series, he is joined by his wonderful co-host, me, the dog, that dog kitty. Sorry, I'm ruining it. Start again. Go. Kitta and I are both going into the story completely new with almost no knowledge of the story or world. Each segment, we intend to cover what happens in each new chapter and discuss our experience along the way. This is Mistborn Abridged, a blind read-through, a very, very blind read-through, because it's live. The blindest of blind read-throughs, minus mm -hmm. the Braille. <laughs> and today we will be covering chapter 15. I don't know why Quan betrayed me. Even still, this event haunts my thoughts. He was the one who discovered me. He was the Terrace philosopher who first called me the hero of ages. It seems ironically surreal that now, after his long struggle to convince his colleagues, he is the only major Terrace holy man to preach against my reign. Okay, so we've got a, a new person here. It's not even, we're not talking about, what's it, Rashik? Um, right, this is, okay, so this is yeah. a holy man from Terrace. Mm -hmm who seems to have been the one to spearhead the whole epigraph man is the hero of ages. And this is the first mm -hmm. time, no, this is not the first time we've heard the phrase hero of ages, is it? It isn't the first time, no. Yeah, I'm pretty it's, sure. It might be the first time in the epigraph, but we have heard hero of ages before. Isn't that, yeah. uh, the hero of ages is actually the third book. Maybe that's oh. where we, we're remembering it for. from. I'm telling you, it's either Vin or Kelsier. Not epigraph. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm telling you. But now, so so this person has noted that, okay, they were wrong. So now he's preaching against, look, he is, he's the only terrorist man to preach against my reign. So I don't know if, see, I would like to make a distinction between his reign and him being the hero of ages. You could be the right. hero of ages, the savior of the world, but that does not necessarily mean you must now be the ruler of the world. They, they could right, be two different so, things, and that could be his problem, not the fact that no, this isn't the the hero. It's his reign. Right. So possible timeline of events: Quan thinks Epigraph Man is the hero of ages, and goes around trying to convince the Terrace philosophers that he is. Epigraph mm -hmm. Man goes to the deepness, and he does whatever happens, becomes corrupted, or. Mm -hmm. You know, it fails or what have you, it gives him that ego. He starts thinking, I've got a lot of people following me now who think I'm the hero of ages. I'm going to conquer the world. And then Quan starts thinking, wait, this isn't right. Something's not right here. You're yeah. evil now, dude. You might have failed. And yeah. by that point, it's too late. Mm -hmm. Now nah, he's just a, a heretic, this this Quan guy. And he's he's betraying uh, the Lord Ruler. And the Lord Ruler thinks he is he is doing good. He thinks, oh, he's bringing the world together, but he's killing friends. He's killing off whole religious sects. He's he's not good. And and somebody stood up to him. I don't think Quan lasted very long after this, I suppose. Um, Probably not. It seems yeah. like he can't even ask, why did you betray me? Which suggests to me that Quan was killed. Yeah. But he just sits in. It's it's all about him. It's like, oh no, he betrayed me. It's like, what happened to your doubt? Hello, like what happened to that? Because you you did have some doubt that this was you. Maybe could you not be? Yeah. Oh no, never mind. We've already fully accepted it, and and Quan is wrong. There's no going back now. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I don't think it's a one to one comparison, but I was kind of thinking of. I think it's the start of book two in the Game of Thrones series with Stannis and his maester, uh, Maester Cresson, I think it is, who tries to poison Melisandra. But oh, this is what is. happens when we do it blind. I don't have time to look up these things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My mind also went there. Because he's trying to... It's like, no, this is, this is going wrong. Maester, holy man, person, yeah. knowledge, yeah. knowledge person, was wise person. Yeah tries to take action and then Dead. bad things happen to him. Yeah, <laughs> dead. 
Okay. Spoiler so alert for the first <laughs> chapter of book two. I think the second Let's... one's a Clash of Kings. No, yeah. maybe. Well, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's spoiler. It's teaser. It's go on, go read it if you yeah. haven't read it. Yet. Or don't because it kind. Of, well, no, I won't you got say time. You, you know, um, no, you, you got, got time. Because <laughs> it's not it's not finishing anytime soon. Don't worry. Oh man. Okay, let's continue with the chapter, shall we? Unless you have anything else to say about the epigraph. Not about the epigraph, but I do want to say, you know what? Maybe Brandon Sanderson needs to, needs to finish Game of Thrones. I know he's a different writer completely, but you know what? What would Brandon Sanderson do? You know, maybe he should go uh, and consult George with George R. R. Martin. So look, I I read somewhere that Brandon Sanderson has said that he would not finish Game of Thrones if offered. But for the life of me, I cannot find the primary source. I cannot find a post you dreamt or a it. stream. I dreamt it. No, no, I I saw someone say it. So this is like... It's real, okay? I, okay, well, yeah. people in the I mean, chat, it's for it. please, please validate what Dorcas is saying. Yes, if anyone knows the specific medium, place, time, stream that Brandon Sanderson specifically said he would not finish Game of Thrones if given the opportunity, let us know, please. Okay, that was, yeah, that's all I wanted. I'm just trying to think of how he I would mean, do it. He, he, it he's certain, it very different, but I still he, feel like he's... He's yeah. talented enough, unquestionably, mm -hmm. in my opinion, to be able to yeah. do it adequately. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all in caps. I'm not going to yell it. You took her with you, Dachshund demanded, bursting into the room. You took Vin to Critic Shaw. Are you bloody insane? Yes, you've been right all along. I'm a madman, a lunatic. Perhaps I should have just died in the pits and never come back to bother any of you. Dachshund recoiled, taken aback by the force in Kelsier's words. Kelsier pounded the table in frustration, and the wood splintered from the force of the blow. He... I was just about to ask, do you think he's still, like, burning? But the next, yeah. the next sentence, hello, this is a blind read-through. <laughs> he still burned pewter, the metal helping him resist his several wounds. His misting cloak lay in tatters, his body sliced by a half-dozen different small cuts. His entire right side burned with pain. He'd have a massive bruise there, and he'd be lucky if none of his ribs were cracked. I gotta know how he escaped, yeah? Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'm I, so glad he did, but I'm like, how? How the fuck? Sorry. Do you think that they were more concerned, that the Inquisitors were more concerned with Vin than they were with Kelsier? Is like Vin, it. is Vin unironically the, the key to every, the girl who's the key to everything? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I did wonder that because uh, like there were two, the two went off, there were three, okay, so two out of three went after her. But they were going to kill her. They were trying to kill her. It wasn't like they are trying to capture her or anything like that. So I just want to know you what happened with Kelsia so we can, we can see, we can determine whether they were more worried about her than him. Do we know for a fact they were trying to kill her, though? Because they seemed um, intent on finding out who her father was. Oh, uh, that's true. But, I mean, he stabbed her pretty, pretty hard. Like, but a, she was like burning. A or a spear. But she was burning pewter. Mm. I don't know. I still feel like there was lots of murderous intent there. Maybe they could bring her I back. I think it's I fair. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't think they... Ooh, maybe they could. Ooh. <laughs> ooh. Interesting. Kelsier flared the pewter. Kelsier flared the pewter. The fire within felt good. It gave him a focus for his anger and self-loathing. One of the apprentices worked quickly, tying a bandage around Kelsier's largest gash. Club sat with Ham at the side of the kitchen. Breeze was away visiting a suburb. By the Lord Ruler, Kelsier, Dachshund said quietly. Even Dachshund, Kelsier thought. My oldest friend swears by the Lord Ruler's name. What are we doing? How can we face this? There were three Inquisitors waiting for us, Docks. Dachshund paled. And you left her there! She got out before I did. I tried to distract the Inquisitors as long as I could, but... But one of the three followed her. I couldn't get to it. Maybe the other two Inquisitors were simply trying to keep me busy so that their companion could find her. 
Three Inquisitors, Doxon said, accepting a small cup of brandy from one of the apprentices. He downed it. We must have made too much noise going in, Kelsier said. Either that or they were already there for some reason, and we still don't know what's in that room. Okay, hold up. Oh, Kelsier, you're not seeing it, are you? Okay, I know that there's a lot going on, but he's not seeing what we saw, obviously, because of just the the chaos of it all. But he's not thinking, oh, we don't know what's in that room. Therefore, we don't, therefore, it, it, it's possible that those inquisitors are always there because of what yeah. is in in that 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 seems obvious to us in the first, in the in chapter 14 we already made that that assumption we were like okay hold on there was no plan there was no, nothing to be leaked or whatever it this is not just this there's not just uh it's a coincidence i think not is basically what no. i'm saying yeah and obviously if it's of such a vital importance to the lord ruler why wouldn't you assume that there is always at least one, uh, if not an inquisitor, something meaningfully yeah. dangerous to protect whatever is in there? Exactly. All the time. Why would it only be like... Do you expect it, it to be yeah. empty? Me? No. No, not you. I, Kelsey, oh, I'm did, talking... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kelsey, what, yeah, does he expect it to be left alone? Like, huh? Oh no, there must just be there must just be haze killers there. It's like you've got inquisitors. It's it's the the big bad lair of the big bad. <laughs> of course, there's yep. going to be lots of big bad, and it's always going to be there. I just I don't. He's thinking too much like heist wise. I suppose he's thinking like oh no 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 we because we can just sneak around and it'll be fine. No, um, we made too much noise going in. No, they are there all the time. It it just seems so clear to me. And yes, I can see how um, look very good character work. Kelsia is hating on himself for what what just happened. But yeah, we that was dumb, Kelsia. Well done. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't hate him, but and and I know that he's feeling horrible. But yes, this is exactly he was being reckless. And yes, he's got. And I know I, I know I have all of this energy because we just came off that last chapter. But I think they're all, while I, I'm sure this is a heated discussion, I don't think there's quite as much energy as um, yes. as I am putting into it. Yeah. <laughs> as we're putting into just the whole thing. There's just a lot of energy right now, okay? We're buzzed. <laughs> yes, yes we are. The kitchen fell silent. The rain outside picked up again, assaulting the building with a reproachful fury. It also doesn't help that that first line is in all caps, which set the tone as yelling. Yeah. So that's yeah. not just me, it, but it, it does, all it of does the chapters. Think, yeah, all of the chapters put everything in, but but the thing is, it's it it's an exclamation and it's in all caps. So you, yeah. Just, yeah. The rain outside picked up again, assaulting the building with a reproachful fury. So, Ham said, what a vin. Kelsier glanced at Doxon and saw pessimism in his eyes. That was Ham, by the way. Kelsier had barely escaped, and he had years of training. If Vin was still in Credit Shaw... Kelsier felt a sharp, twisting pain in his chest. You let her die, too. First mayor, then Vin. How many more will you lead to slaughter before this is through? She might be hiding somewhere in the city. Okay, so, wow. That's so cool. he thought That's that, cool. and then he said that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he, he thinks that she's dead, but he doesn't want to say that. Oh my god, I can feel that pain in my chest. <laughs> is like, that I know she's not optimism? Dead, like, like, is is the it, line it, optimism, or is that like petulance, hope. or is it hope, or or uh, lying to yourself? Um, what what's it? Uh, delusions? I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I delusional. Like I think he's he, it's it's all of them. It's he wants yeah. it to be true. He doesn't want to admit that he thinks she's dead because that would make it even more real. And then we would have to deal with the reaction of everybody. We want we want the others to have a little bit more of hope. Oh, God, it's such a tense how, situation. How calm is his mind right now? We know he's burning his metals, which can help calm the mind. But mm -hmm. given everything that's that they just went through is he in a rational state of mind right now i don't think so i think he's he's in a look it's not it's not dazed and confused but it's pain 
it's anguish. So mm. everything is going to be distorted. Like his his self hatred is it's it's turned up to a hundred. So everything that he's feeling is it's just and the words anguish for me. It's just yeah. So it's all very sharp and it's not clear thinking at all. But I don't think it's like confusion. It's just there's feelings everywhere. It's rational bad feelings. <laughs> yeah. Cool. She might be hiding somewhere in the city, afraid to come to the shop because the Inquisitors are looking for her. Or perhaps for some reason she went back to Felice. Oh, no. He's very, he's delusional. Oh, this now, now that's denial. Yeah, yeah, that's denial. Or he's trying to convince himself. And then he yeah. thinks to himself, maybe she's out there somewhere dying alone in the rain. More like Ham. Him. Yeah. Ham. You and I are heading back to the palace. Docs, take Lesterborns and visit other thieving crews. Maybe one of their scouts saw something. Clubs, send an apprentice to Renault's mansion to see if she went there. Okay, so that's a lot of orders. Mm -hmm. Not sure we should be giving orders right now. Some of that is dangerous. Mm -hmm. how, sa how safe is it for Ham? I know Ham is the strong man, but is it safe yeah. for him to be around Credit Shaw right now? Yeah, I, I just think, yeah, you got to be laying low. Uh, yes, we, we got to try and find her, but I don't know if that is the, yeah, the, it seems very uh, rash, but I, I understand. The solemn group started to move, but Kelsier didn't need to state the obvious. He and Ham wouldn't be able to get close to Credit Shaw without running afoul of guard patrols. Even if Vin was hiding in the city somewhere, the Inquisitors would probably find her first. They would have, Kelsier froze, his sudden jerk bringing the others up short. He'd heard something. Okay, so that just like did the Inquisitors follow him there? Yeah, no. the, the, uh, yeah. For, uh -huh. Footsteps could be anything. It could be good, could be bad. It could be Very Vin. Scary. It could be the person that rescued Vin. Mm -hmm. my, but my immediate thought was Inquisitors, but it could be good. Mm -hmm. Hurried footsteps sounded as Lesterborns rushed down the stairs and into the room, his lanky form wet with rain. Someone's coming out the night with the calling. <laughs> Damn it, Lesterborns. This is not the time for your silly <laughs> accents. I know, but I'm sorry. I, I, it, it entertains me immediately. Out of the night with the calling. <laughs> so he's calling out. He came out calling. Came, okay? Yes. Oh, and I love that Ham asks if it's Vin, hopefully, and that it's Ham that asks. Mm -hmm. Ham is such a teddy bear. I love Ham. Vin? Ham asked, hopefully. Lesterborn shook his head. Big man, robe. And, okay, okay. This is that, 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 that made more sense. He actually is trying to speak English. Yeah. And this is it, then. I've brought death to the crew. I've led the Inquisitors right to them. He thinks to but, himself. But Lesterborn would have said Inquisitor. True. He knows what an Inquisitor looks like. Also true, because of the iron also, in the eyes comment. Yeah, and and w would he wouldn't would this he's calling out? I don't know. You would just know that this is not a human. True. I feel like Lesterborns might be uh, a little more panicked, or something. Or frankly, I have a hard time imagining that Lesterborn wouldn't have just been like dead after seeing one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man. Ham stood, picking up a wooden stave. Doxon pulled out a pair of daggers and clubs as six apprentices moved to the back of the room, eyes wide with fright. Kelsier flared his medals. The back door to the kitchen slammed open. A tall, dark form in wet robes stood in the rain, and he carried a cloth-wrapped figure in his arms. Sazed, Kelsier said. She is badly wounded. Oh, it okay. Sazed, okay, okay. Okay. Third on my it's list, fun. not bad. Yeah, and it's still it's still good. It's not Illand, okay? That that was the one that I was like, mm, <laughs> comp him, okay? Oh, so is it okay? So it makes sense. The kindness, it makes sense. Okay. Does this oh, okay? So I'm this okay means Sazet took on an Inquisitor. Yeah, I I, I just want to know what. Okay. Yeah, and listen, we made the case for Sazet. You said okay, he knew that she was going to try and follow Kelsia. He might have known Kelsey was going to go to Credit Shaw or whatever. Point is, he might have also a way of finding her. I don't know. The, the mystery of his powers is incredible. Oh, 
I'm just happy, okay? Look, I, 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 it would have been interesting if it was the Lord Ruler, but it actually makes way more sense that it would be something because if it was the Lord Ruler, you're like, whoa, Lord Ruler, why it would have been your inquisitors? Why don't you call them off? That sort of thing. It would have been, yeah, but it would have been like a very, very different direction for this story to take. If the it was whole the story. Ruler. Yeah, the yeah. whole story. That's what I mean. Like uh, there was a lot of unknown that would happen from there. So this 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 keeps it along the course of we just we still don't know about the Lord Ruler, which is it's fine. Yeah, but it does. <laughs> yeah, but it, it does make sense that it that it is Sazed, mm. and it 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 only serves to endear me to him more. Yeah. Okay. 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 She's okay, badly okay. wounded. She is badly wounded, Sazed said, stepping quickly into the room, his fine robes streaming with rainwater. Mr. Hammond, I require some pewter. I love that Sazed calls him Hammond. Mm-hmm. Master Hammond, he's very proper. Yeah. Her supply is exhausted, I think. Ham rushed forward as Sazed set then on the kitchen table. Her skin was clammy and pale, her thin frame soaked and wet. She's so small, barely more than a child. How could I have thought to take her with me? Oh my gosh, I want to cry. Just the, yeah, the, so at this, the sight of the small little girl. Oh. Look, at this point, Kelsier has to kick her out of the group, right? Like, out <laughs> off the crew. Like, I'm not going to risk you again. That was too think, close. Yeah, he's going to try that, and then she's going to say, get lost. No, of course. Of course she's mm -hmm. going to say that. But Yeah, this, no, but this is going to really wreck him, because... He like he's he's his immediate thing was oh you let you let Mare die, and now now you're just gonna how many more women are you gonna you know how how many more people I are let you Mare die I almost mm -hmm. got you killed Finn yeah you are exactly. not yeah and the que um, and then the question is will is it like when you have to be mean to a dog to get it to run away will he have to force Vin into thinking that he betrayed her in order to get her to leave to protect her. Mm, and is yeah. that, is, I don't know if he, he'll, he uh, can go that far. I don't, I don't want him to do that, uh, but I also no, think Vin either. would know, Vin would know that what he's trying to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. Vin's or or she, she would, they would still be, she would have doubts for sure. But Vin, it, it could, it could hit right in the trauma though mm -hmm. and blind her. Yeah. But oh god, she would have such such a, a battle between wanting to believe what she feels, which is that oh yeah, Kelsey would Kelsey must be doing this to protect me. But then it's like no no no, Reen voices mean you see you're right. Now there's oh, okay, but I don't want that to happen. <laughs> no, I only want good things for Vin. I want I want that to be part of the crew. Okay, she wants to be I part want... of it. <laughs> yeah. She bore a massive bloody wound in her side. Sazed set something aside. A large book. See, he does. He oh, totally. He got the book. He got the book. There you go. Yes. A large Very book he'd been carrying. Yes. I, I'm I'm so confident the book will I'm have way. answers that Kelsier has been yes. looking for. I'm, I'm more confident now that it's. Okay. So maybe it's not. It might be the, the journal. It makes sense. But. Uh, and listen, it's a large book, so why would your journal be so massive? But well, if you live be, for a thousand years. Yeah, I suppose. But like, in terms of it, it could be rewritten. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's the the scriptures rewritten. You know, like in 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 the well, Bible. It, form, it, it's basically. a historical artifact. Yeah, it's an, yeah, exactly. So we we have answers. I'm glad we have the book. You were right. There, boom. She bore a massive bloody wound in her side. Sazed set something aside. A large book he'd been carrying in his arms beneath Finn and accepted a vial from Hammond, then bent down and poured the liquid down the young conscious girl's throat. Interesting that in this narration it's Hammond uh, mm -hmm. and not Ham, because that's not Sazed thinking. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's an inconsistency. Or no, it's not. Or... We're, in Kelsia, we're in Kelsia's POV. Kelsia thinks of him as Ham. Right. Okay. So interesting. The room fell silent, the sound of pounding rain coming through the still open door. Vin's face flushed slightly with color, and her breathing seemed to steady. To Kelsier's alimantic bronze senses, she began to pulse softly with a rhythm, not unlike a second heartbeat. Ah, good, Sazet said, undoing Vin's makeshift bandage. I feared that her body was too unfamiliar with this alimancy to burn metals unconsciously. Whoa, 
Oh, <laughs> she is talented, isn't she? Mm hmm. Oh. There is hope for her, I think. Mr. Clayton, I shall require a pot of boiled water with some bandages and the medical bag for my rooms. Quickly now. Clubs nodded, waving for his apprentices to do as instructed. Kelsier cringed as he watched Sazed's work. The wound was bad, worse than any he had survived. The cut went deep into her gut. It was the type of wound that killed, slowly, but consistently. Mm. Vin, however, was Vin, however, was no ordinary person. Pewter would keep an Alamancer alive long after their bodies should have given out. In addition, Sazed was no ordinary healer. Religious rites were not the only things that keepers stored in their uncanny memories. Their metal mines... Metal mm. mines... Metal Mines? It's not a capital M, but Metal Mines is not a word we've heard before. And this did, this potentially speaks to what you were saying about the memory, 500 mm -hmm. religions, their capabilities to memorize vast swaths of things. Their Metal Mines contain vast wealths of information on culture, philosophy, and science. So they are, they are something different physically, because they have yes. Metal Mines. Yeah. What do you think about the Kolos being hu human but subhuman, like altered humans? Mm, I, I remember that. I, I just thought of them as beasts. But um, okay, yeah. So, what are you thinking of 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 them as being some sort of derivative of Kolos? Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, <laughs> maybe it's like the the Urukai. Maybe they're like made orcs. From, human orcs from terrorismen interesting that makes sense. well from that from be... from from anyone we know that uh okay if there's just like it what if there's just base human and from base human we get nobleman ska terrace metal mines kolos inquisitor just mm. yeah those are hmm. races yeah okay well, well, yeah, there, there are races in there, but there's... So much of mystery, I just want to know it. Hmm, yeah. Clubs ushered his apprentices from the room as the surgery began. The procedure took an alarming amount of time, Ham applying pressure to the wound as Sazed slowly stitched fins and sides back together. Finally, Sazed closed the outer wound and applied a clean bandage, then asked Ham to carefully carry the girl up to her bed. Kelsier stood, watching Ham carry Vin's weak, limp form out of the kitchen. Okay, quickly. Before, mm -hmm. I, I briefly saw the next sentence, but mm -hmm. Sawzed's going to have an earful for Kelsier, yeah? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, Sawzed's... Like, yes, he knows that, that she followed and that's the problem, but it was Kelsier's responsibility to make sure she was safe. They yes. haven't trained for this sort of thing. She, she, he knows that she's going to be in danger, right? She, he knows that. So it's not yes. like he's like, how could you put her in danger? But they hadn't trained for this. That she was so no. not ready. Like it they don't know great. how to fight together. Imagine if they were fighting together and they'd actually helped each other or that sort of thing. Like there, there's none of that. So yes. even if we want to be highly charitable and say that that Sazed is it is okay with putting Vin in danger, this was not a good calculated risk. Agreed. And we we saw we know that Sazed's baseline is calm. Mm -hmm. We saw him freak out a little bit at the ball, mm -hmm. and I think we might see oh. angry Sazed soon. And yes. that seems scary to me. Which will be also yeah, if we see angry Sazed, but it it's a it's a measure of actually okay, yeah, of actually how angry he is, because he will he will have feelings and and express them politely. Okay. But now yeah. he, he will have lost control, which is just showing how much he does care for Vin as well. Um, yes. and, and for what he might think she might be. Who knows if he's got thing, thoughts about that. True. Then he turned to Sazed questioningly. Doxon sat in the corner, the only other one still in the room. Sazed shook his head gravely. I do not know, Master Kelsier. She could survive. We will need to keep her supplied with pewter. It will help her body make new blood. Even still, I have seen many strong men die from wounds smaller than this one. Kelsier nodded. I arrived too late, I think, Sazed said. When I found her gone from Renault's mansion, I came to Lucidel as quickly as I could. I used up an entire metal mine to make the trip with haste. I was what? still too late. Uh, I, I used, used up an entire... Up 
What so does something... that mean? Yeah, their metal mines contained vast wells of information. I used up an entire metal mine. Is that him burning something? This is very cool. I need it's, to know what is happening. It certainly seems congruent, if not directly. Yes, related to to adamancy. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Metal. Um, yeah. Interesting. Their metal mines contained vast wealths of information. I used up an entire metal mine. Maybe it's like a computer. Like maybe there's a computer in his brain with batteries, and mm -hmm. the batteries drain and need to be recharged or something yeah there's some yeah there, there, there is the the thing of him saying used means that it's some sort of fuel or some something yeah. that runs out what's that elon musk thing like doesn't elon musk want to put uh, like um, computer chips in our brains yes what is it called uh neural link yeah maybe maybe sazed has a neural link yeah and he just he just uh he needs to recharge it <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what's what's interesting? So we expected anger immediately here, right? For Kelsey. Yeah. But actually what Kels what what um what Sunset is feeling here is he's blaming himself. He's like, mm. I was too late. So he's thinking too much about himself. He's actually thinking he's not even worried about Kelsey actually. He's he's also feeling everybody's feeling like, oh, it's their fault that they have put her in this situation so far. Yeah. It's uh, very somber. Mm -hmm. I was still too late. No, my friend. You've done well this night. Far better than I. Sazed sighed, then reached over and fingered the large book he'd set aside from beginning the surgery. The tomb was wet with rainwater and blood. Kelsier regarded it, frowning. What is that, anyway? I don't know. I found it at the palace while I was searching for the child. It is written in Clenny. Clenny, Clenium, Lord Ruler, mm. Epigraph Man is from Clenium. I'm yeah, telling you. No, there you see it. Go to the next line. I read ahead of you. <laughs> Clenny, the language of Clenium, the ancient pre ascension homeland of the Lord Ruler. Ah, okay, so they know that. Mm -hmm. Kelsier perked up a bit. Can you translate it? Perhaps, said Zazed, suddenly sounding very tired, but not for a time, I think. After this evening, I shall need to rest. He's used up his battery. So yes. he would use this metal mind to translate. Oh, man. What if it's beyond Neuralink? What if Sazed mm -hmm. is an AI? What if this yeah. is post-apocalyptic, futuristic? Sazed, uh, Sazed is C3, C3PO, but awesome. I mean, like C3PO <laughs> is cool, but, you know, it reminds me. I'm sorry to make the parallel, <laughs> but, but he, he's got depth, a lot more depth. And C3PO. Yes. But he's he's forming that function over here. Yes, yes, he is. I'm so confident that journal is going to have very important lore. Mm -hmm. Kelsier nodded, calling for one of the apprentices to prepare Saws at a room. The terraceman nodded, thankfully, then walked wearily up the stairs. He saved more than Vince's life tonight, Doxon said, approaching quietly from behind. What you did was stupid, even for you. I had to know, Dox. I had to go back. What if the Atium really is in there? You said that it isn't. I said that, Kelsier said with a nod, and I'm mostly sure. But what if I'm wrong? That's no excuse, Doxon said angrily. Now Vin is dying and the Lord Ruler is alerted to us. Wasn't it enough that you got Mare killed trying to get into that room? Kelsier was too drained to feel any anger. He sighed, sitting down. There's more, Dox, Doxon frowned. I've avoided talking about the Lord Ruler to the others, but I'm worried. The plan is good, but I have this terrible haunting feeling that we'll never succeed as long as he's alive. We can take his home, we can take his armies, we can trick him out of the city, but I still worry that we won't be able to stop him. Okay, so when I read that first line, I have this terrible haunting feeling that we'll never mm -hmm. succeed as long as he's alive. I was wondering if that's connected to Vin's feeling and connected to Epigraph Man's feeling. Mm -hmm. Do you think, or is it just his anxiety? Uh, no, it, 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 crossed, it crossed my mind, but I don't think it is. I think it is his own feeling. Uh, I don't think it's a, as magical as what Vin was feeling. I think okay, it's like cool. A... That's, 
but I it did agree. cross my mind. That, that, yeah, that was where my mind went. I was like, wait, what, what, what feeling? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, I think it is more the anxiety, although clearly the Lord Ruler is very magical, if not more magical mm -hmm. than your Mistborns and your Mistings. Mm -hmm. You're serious about this 11th metal business then? Kelsier nodded. I searched for two years to find a way to kill him. Men have tried everything. He ignores normal wounds and decapitation only annoys him. Holy shit, they, they decapitated him? <laughs> Jesus! Who? When? I'm so curious. Does he like Deadpool his body back? Does he just grow a new body? <laughs> Decapita yeah, decapitation. No. Decapitation only annoys him. <laughs> My God, that's a revelation. Jeez, thanks. I need to know. A group of soldiers burned down his inn during one of the early wars. The Lord Ruler walked out as barely more than a skeleton, then healed in a matter of seconds. Oh, sh okay. Look, I've said it in past episodes, so I don't necessarily feel I need to repeat it here. But I'm telling you, whatever he did with the deepness and the atium and being the sliver in infinity, I think he is like just this fixed point in time type situation where he just is. is and he has right. to... And he's like holding the world in a form of stasis to prevent it from being destroyed mm -hmm. or something in with some shades way. of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, we don't know the mechanics of it, but this is your, your, what you're suspecting. Yeah. Yes. So it's Schrodinger's, the world is both saved and not saved so long as the Lord Ruler is alive. Therefore, when they defeat the Lord Ruler, we lose, yes. The they will lose, but then that it'll be incumbent upon them to realize what they've done and stop the deepness. And, and then stop the deepness. Yeah, that's what I think is gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, look <laughs> again, this is all this is not all to say that the Lord Ruler is is good. Okay. We don't there, there's there's all shades of gray, okay, around yeah. what has happened to the Lord Ruler because we saw there's goodness and there in there there's this this um narcissism about him we know that there was self-doubt but we also and we also think that the deepness could have corrupted him as well into taking those, those bits of him and made them bigger you know what i'm saying yes so, so we, we we also have that theory and yes it seems like if you kill the lord ruler i i don't think that would solve that would create more problems i don't think you're you're done the deepness is still a problem um, Agreed. And I do feel like even that word stasis is a good, like it's constant. There's something, something he's constantly doing. But also, yeah, the, in terms of the information, I'm thinking about this book. I'm like, what can we learn from there about about him that 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 will help us kill him? Not that we want to. Maybe they'll find out that they shouldn't kill him. But yeah. how honest? How honest has he been in this book? That's the thing. How honest has he been? He. Well, if it's his yeah. journal. I don't see why he would have to lie to anyone, but it would be tinged with his point of view on everything. Yeah. I mean, he's literally like, oh, why he betrayed me or whatever. It's like, wait, hold on. But yeah, let's see. Mm. Oof. Only the stories of the 11th medal offered any hope, but I can't make it work. That's why I had to go back to the palace. The Lord Ruler's hiding something in that room. I can feel it. I can't help thinking that if we knew what it was, we'd be able to stop him. You didn't have to take Vin with you. She followed me. I was worried that she'd try to get in on her own if I left her. The girl has a headstrong streak, Docs. She hides it well, but she's blasted stubborn when she wants to be. That is That's true. Nice. Yeah. That is true. She could, it, the, the, the risk of it, the thing that he should have done is not gone, okay? Yeah, he should, he should have, have sat her in a room with Sazed and Ham and mm -hmm. anyone else that would be good enough to stop her and say, yeah. do not let her leave this room until I return. And he did say short of tying you up kind of thing. Um, yeah. But, you, you know, like, no, yeah, tie her up. Or just don't go and stay with her, okay? And then tie her up another night. <laughs> you know yes. what I'm saying? Like, yep. I, I just... Uh, he, the thing is, he shouldn't have gone. I understand that 
it could have been more dangerous to continue and not let her come with, as in like just let her, because she would try to get him by herself and then become, you know, then become, it is a liability. She he, And what, he doesn't know that she's there. He doesn't know where she is. Th that's even worse. I understand that. Yeah. But he shouldn't but have gone at all. Agreed. Yes. And since it's just a three-day cycle, I don't see much of a reason why exactly she, why he couldn't have said okay today you're gonna learn with ham about mm -hmm. what it means to be a philosopher who's also really strong uh, <laughs> see ya see you when i get back uh, <laughs> nevertheless what's done is done ducks inside then nodded quietly and we still don't know what's in that room elsie eyed the book saza had set on the table the rainwater had marked it, but the tome was obviously designed to endure. It was strapped tightly to prevent water from seeping in, and the cover was of well-cured leather. No, we don't. But we do have that, whatever it is. Was it worth it, Kale? Was this insane stunt really worth getting yourself and the child killed? I don't know, Kelsier said honestly. He turned to Doxon, meeting his friend's eyes. Ask me once we know whether or not Vin will live. Sheesh. End. End of part two. <gasps> part three is children of a bleeding son. And we... mm. Okay. Um, that chapter wrapped things up pretty nicely. And thank you, Kite, for doing this blindest of blind reads short of Braille. Um, <laughs> yes, I did make that joke twice in one episode. I laughed uh, twice. Because I, I needed to know right away. And now we can go to the next chapter before next week's record and hopefully know if she lives or not. Mm -hmm. But we do have, hey, listen, we have some answers. We have answers from last last week, you know, because it was that long ago. Um, about whether <laughs> uh, whether it, what the book is, whether this, this, uh, I don't, I still don't think it was the thing that they were guarding, right? So it's not what was in that okay. room, in my opinion. What do you feel at the moment? <sighs> okay, so he, he feels that there is something in that room, right? Kelsey feels that. Yes. And so does, so, I, and if the, if the, the, that room was associated with that feeling, the, the book uh, and the thing that was being guarded would create that feeling. And I don't think the book does that. It's not the book. This book doesn't have any mystical feeling around it. There is something yeah. else. I feel like there in, is something else. Yeah. yeah. In actuality, I think it would be strange if it were the book that were in the room for us to have this section after the fact of Kelsier saying, we still don't know what was in that room. Therefore, mm -hmm. yeah. I, th I think you're right. He it, would have it known. Was not the book. Yeah, I, I think he would have known that Vin landed up in the room because it, they, the, yeah. the whole fight that he had with his Inquisitor was in that chamber. I mean, and it was very clear that that was a small little room. So just yes. because, I'm not, I'm not diminishing the importance of this book of the the journal. I'm not saying that that doesn't hold the answers, but I'm saying that it will give us answers of what's in that vault. It's, I'm calling it a vault in that even though it's a, it's a building, inside a building. Right. And and remember there was the description of an oak door. There was no oak door, nothing like that, that that was in what Vin was experiencing. So I don't think she went into that room, but I do think it was an important room. It had an altar. It had all of that. I am at the point where I do not think the book was in the room. I think the room is too small to house the the well of ascension mm -hmm. um or the deepness um whatever feeling thing it could, yeah it could be and, and like i would imagine if he were burning at him in perpetuity to withhold the deepness i imagine it would be in a much more grand room than some mm -hmm. small location right so i don't know that that's what he's doing there yeah yeah he might be reading uh, reading it or writing in there that's fine or i don't know the the inquisitors need to worship what he's writing there i don't know i think it is personal it is for him though because yeah 
the, the, the you wouldn't actually what we've read in the epigraphs is not religious text it doesn't sound right. like it's religious text and i feel like he has made doctrine and things like that that well, would sound like it, proclamations well if jesus wrote a journal mm -hmm. and that journal were extant today yeah would you not consider that religious text i know we would yeah but i'm just saying like the way that this in this context he has made a religion for of himself I don't think he would want the personal f things that he said. I don't think he would want them to be part of the doctrine. I see. Fair. He would want it to be uh, tailored for what people need to believe True. about him. The yeah. propaganda of it all. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Is there anything else to say, Kitta? Other than like and subscribe to the No One Like and subscribe podcast. to That Darn Kitta. He does stuff on her channel. You've heard about it in previous episodes. Have a great week. Thank you for watching and or listening, but mostly listening because there's not much to watch because this is uh, an audio oh. mm -hmm. podcast. Yeah. Have a good one. See you next week. Bye. Bye.